that's how I masterminded last year's series win. Wow, Brian, you really do know how to read the game well. Well, it's just a gift. I am a student of the game. Oh, hi. Sorry, didn't see you there. Hi, my name's Nathan Highmarsh. You may remember me from such series wins as 2004 and 2005. Hi, and I'm Brian Fletcher. From 2000 fame, the whitewash, or as I like to call it, the day Gordon Pallas got sent off for calling Bill Harrigan a f***ing cheat. Did you play in that series? Uh, yes. I only remember you from when that uh, you dropped the ball over the line. What series was that? Was that... It's 2001. Yeah. Anyway, anyway, as New South Wales origin legends, we've been asked to welcome you, the debutantes, to New South Wales camp. Gentlemen, welcome to the New South Wales Blues, a team built on community spirit, humility and loyalty. Just ask Jimmy Maloney. Uh, he's, he's gone, he's dro dropped. Oh, yeah. Just ask Tarek Sims. I uh, didn't make it, didn't make it. Regan Campbell-Gillard. He's out. James Roberts. Gone. Jack DeBellin. Out. F*** me. Didn't we win last year? Yeah. That was all about loyalty. How did Paul Gallon and Robbie Farrah make your team every year? <laughs> Now that you've finally made the team, remember, you're following in the footsteps of some of the absolute greats of our game. Like Nick Kosef, Jamie Bura, Dave Wolfman-Williams, and of course, the great Steve Menzies. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Cut. Who wrote this? Oh, just read the script, Derek's. So what does Origin mean to us? For me, it means determination, sacrifice and hard work. And for me, it's ten days in camp, which means ten days on the piss and ten days away from the family and the nagging. Take the rubbish out, pick your towels up, do the washing. Uh, come to bed and pleasure me every night. Did you just say every night? F I'm flat out getting it once a month. You get it every night. That's bullshit. All oh, right, now that you've finally made the team, there's a few perks you may want to know about. Firstly, 30K right in your sky rocket, regardless of the result every game, even if you play shit like Matthew Johnson. Secondly, you have to be a prick to every Queensland scum out there. Except for Mel Meninga, of course. No, yeah, we love you. Love Mel. you, Mel. Hi, Mel. And also bargaining power. So when you go back to Clubland, your contract will skyrocket. Except for Gutho. What did he get? 650. And what about on the napkin? Not sure. I'll see you at Ride Car Park. When you get there. If you ever get there. If you ever get there. I'll see you when I get there. I'll see you at Ride Car Park. Park. <laughs> if you ever get there. I'll see you when you get there. In the window, cash bag. Now, one of the great joys of Origin Camp is your roommate. You get to spend so much time with them and become lifelong friends. Are you f***ing kidding me? Mate, I do remember this idiot. Oh, mate, can you let it go? Oh, you let it go. Hey, Rumi, how are you, mate? F*** off, Ennis. <laughs> Why are you always going to be like that for? Idiot. Now that you've made the blue side, it's not all about fun and games. We've got six simple rules we need you to follow. Rule number one, listen to everything Freddie tells you, even if you can't understand a word he's saying. Rule number two, if Joey Johns gives you advice, refer back to rule number one. Rule number three, if you decide to sneak off and vandalise James Hooper's rental car, think twice. It's much funnier doing the Kenties. Rule number four, if you're on the training paddock and Coach Fittler asks you to get blindfolded, take your shoes off and enjoy the grass, do it. If he asks you to do the same thing but in a hotel room, think twice. OK, for the record, I've done both and the hotel is so much sweeter. All stations to Potts Point. Rule number five, if you manage to lose a game, don't get down on yourself. Some people have only played four games and won none and still managed to get three shows on Fox, a million dollars a year, their own podcasts, and have time to get to the gym for biceps and triceps. Who's only played four games? Only <laughs> Johns. <laughs> and finally, rule number six, this is the most important. Try to avoid being in a taxi at night if you're towy or travelling with other towy humans who may or may not want to yell out, fire up, fire up. <laughs> So there you have it. I hope this short video has given you a small taste of life inside Origin Camp. And in the unlikely event that we actually lose the series, don't worry, just always use this excuse. I'm playing against a team of immortals and it was Mitchell Pearce's fault. Mm. I know we were. Yeah, 100%. <laughs> now here's a quick message from a man regarded as New South Wales' worst Origin player ever. Hi, I'm New South Wales' great Brett Finch. Let's hope your Origin career is better than mine. Look, I know we're only having a bit of fun, but he seriously was the worst Origin player ever. Well, you know he won more games than Matty and Brandy combined. He seems <laughs> true. Good job, Finchy. Good on you, mate. I'll see you at Ride Car Park. If you ever get there. <laughs>